three. Seattle guards are losing it. And one. That's what I was just talking about, the last free throw. As an offensive guy in the second slot, what you're thinking about, and most guys aren't, cheat a little bit and get a quick start. So Briscoe goes around to the baseline side, which is great, and he frees up an opportunity for understanding whether or not your guys can shoot free throws or not. Three-point play. Nine on the shot clock. Willis. Yes! Wow! That's how they can extend you when their bigs are shooting the basketball, especially with slip a piece of paper on the mic. <laughs> Jumper. Foul. First thing a free throw shooter really wants to do is make sure he stays on the line when he's shooting the basketball. Shoulders should drift a little bit towards the rim. It's hard to miss that, even with such a, an extraordinary player like Ben Simmons on your team. Nice pass. Nice return pass. Nice result. Sure was. Largest lead of the game. Six unanswered, saved by Poitras back outside. They're only a play or two away, Vern, of going with the screen, and, and then when LSU reacts defensively, throwing a lob up to the basket, because LSU is really vacating the baseline a lot defensively. There you go. Hello. Well, they didn't go upstairs, but it was, you knew it, you yeah. could see it coming. This is the back. way country was, and this is the way it should be. <laughs> Jim started Good his ground. career in Shreveport. As a country western disc jockey. But you was there to take down that long rebound. Why not? Oh, why not? Exactly. Jumper. John Calipari continues to get the play out of this front line like he has this afternoon. Oh, how about the follow? Lebissier with a rare miss, and Jamal Murray. Ben Murray bring it up. Joined by Lebissier, Briscoe, and Lee. Jumper, Murray. And he has now reached 20 plus points for the 10th consecutive game. He came in the last five, averaging 25 points a game. Best by Blake. 